Okay, thanks, Marissa. Frustration continues to boil over for customers of a local salon that shut down with very little warning. Customers complain coupons they paid for are now worthless. Yeah, but this morning, some progress has been made with employees and their back pay. Parker Collins first broke this story for us last month. Right now, he is also live at Eastern and St. Rose Parkway with more. Parker. This is where one of the businesses used to be. Already something new has replaced it. Since we first ran this story, I have had so many people reaching out to me. They keep reaching out to me. Some have gotten answers. Some have not. <laughs> it, it, it was horrible. Really, really uh scary. Jennifer Woolston has almost no choice but to laugh about what happened. I was devastated. I mean, this devastated me physically, uh, financially, emotionally, in, in so many ways. Last year, Jennifer got a massage at the salon. She says when it was over, she slipped and cracked her head on the floor. I started kind of yelling for help and they had the music on really loud and they couldn't hear me. The nightmare hasn't ended. She's racked up thousands in medical bills. She says the salon gave her the runaround, so she tried to file a lawsuit. That folded when the business closed. She thinks she'll never get justice. That hasn't been the case for everyone. I definitely think it was a story. Definitely putting, you know, that fire and that spotlight on them that they couldn't hide. Former employee you just heard from, she has gotten her final paychecks. I've been speaking with this business. They say everyone who's owed money, including employees and customers, they'll get that money. It just might take some time. They say they had no choice but to close because they've been losing money for some time. Coming up later in the newscast, though, the roadblock one woman faced when she tried to get unemployment. Reporting live, Parker Collins, 13 Action News. Great follow